Prince Leopold of Bavaria on the streets of Munich in his BMW 326. The aristocrat and former racing driver feels a strong attachment to his beloved vintage sedan. It's like dealing with a very old lady. You need to be very cautious and gentle. This car was built in 1939. That's quite a while ago. You can't drive it too fast. You just cruise down the road with it. This is his first visit to BMW's new home for its classic cars. Every inch of the expansive site revolves around the company's heritage. In addition to workshops for repairing and restoring old Beamers, the center exhibits models from the carmaker's 100-year history. Prince Leopold knows a number of them, in particular the 328. I know this car and how it behaves like the back of my hand. I love it, its form and its handling. When you've driven a car for thousands of miles, it finds a place in your heart. I'd like to have a car like this, but I can't afford it. If you don't want to buy a vintage beauty, you can lease one from BMW Classic. For over 30 years now, Klaus Kutscher has been tracking down old models from all over the world for the BMW collection. He found this 507 in a barn in the United States. It once belonged to Elvis Presley. It's now being restored, true to the original. It had been disfigured. The seats had been quilted in diamond shapes in the style of the 70s. The interior and the mechanical elements could barely be recognized as a BMW 507. The center is on the very same site where Bayerische Motorenwerke started out building airplane engines 100 years ago. BMW bought back the grounds a few years ago. They're under a monument preservation order. Manfred Grunert is responsible for the concept and architecture of the BMW Classic Center. It's an investment that pays off for the company's image. If you get to 100 years old, that's an achievement. And it's only natural to want to underscore that significance by cultivating the tradition. It makes you stand out from the rest. And one thing that can't be copied is history. Prince Leopold of Bavaria isn't the only vintage car fan to profit from BMW's century of experience. The vehicles should be as authentic to the original as possible. Take a look at the gear shift knob. Wasn't it black or was the original white? We have all the documentation on the 326 in our archive, so we can find out right away. Klaus Kutscher checks the chassis number of Prince Leopold's car against the documents from the archives to see when and where BMW built it and what specifications and features it had. We now have a clear indication whether the knob was white or black. Here in the sales prospect is shown in black. The replacement knob will be delivered and installed in two weeks. BMW Classic has more experience than anyone else. When you pick your car up, it's guaranteed to function. It's tricky driving with such an old car. You don't take it on the autobahn, just on country roads. You just enjoy the drive and people waving at you. BMW Classic, a new venue for vintage car aficionados.